In another video, we already created a project about using the Firebase to do the authentications. So we can log in and also log out. And so now we are going to create another project that also can log in. And on top of this, we are going to add the upload image functions. So it just looks like Facebook, we can post the message and also the image at the same time. For example, we type I love fireworks and then upload image. And then we press enter. And this is just a preview of the picture. Now you can see the picture already upload to the post and we also already upload other pictures at the same time. And this time we also use the React Firebase host to do the same things. For example, we can use this to do the authentications and also access the documents from the Firestore. So now we are going to modify the previous project. First, we go to the documentations of the React Firebase host and then we copy this command and back to our project and then we cancel the server and then we paste the command to install the package Now we go to the authentications hooks and then we go to copy the import use sign in with email and password and paste on the top and then we also copy another and we also need to use use create user with email and password so we copy this and paste to here. Now we copy this and also paste to the signin.js but we do not need to use the user loading and also the error so we can delete this. And then we also copy this one and also paste to our project. And again we also have to delete the user loading and error because we will not use this. Now. We set the initial values of the email is empty string and also password is also empty string. Now under the sign up can delete this and also delete all the others. And we will use create user with email and passwords from the React Firebase hooks. And also we can also go to the sign in functions and again we delete this off dot and also delete the dot then and dot catch and then we go to start the server again now we can try to log in now we go to type our email and also our password and click sign in now you can see we can still sign in but there is a error that there is a memory leak and so this is something about the cleanup functions. So in order to fix this, we have to use the use effect and we just need to do the cleanup so we can delete effect. And then what we have to do is to return node. And remember, we have to import the use effect from React. So now if we sign out again and clean up the console and we try to log in again, now this time you cannot see the error. So now we already finished the sign in on and also the create user with the React Firebase hooks. Now we go to detect the off state by using the use of state hook. So we go to here and then we find the check off state, the use of state. So we copy this and we back to the app.js and now we can delete all the use effects. We also delete the users. From the documentation, you can see it will return the users by using the use of state hook. So first we paste the import use of state. And then we also copy this line and paste to our app.js. And we already have the off 
from the Firebase so we can use this off and then now we can use the loading and then first we are going to check whether there is loading if yes we are going to return loading and then otherwise we are going to check if the user exists if user exists we will return the home page otherwise it will return the sign in page and at this moment we do not use the error so we can delete this first to simplify our project now we can back to our app and try to restart and now you can see there's a moment that show the loading and then it will go to this home page in this part we are going to add the form in the home page so we go to the CSS W3 schools and copy this HTML so we copy the form and then we back to our project and go to the home page and then under the button we paste the form and then we select all of this and then we convert this to JSX and then we delete the select and we just leave one input field and then we change this to message and then we delete the actions and then the placeholders we type was on your mind and then we can delete this ID and also the name and then we copy the CSS and then we go to create home.css and then we go to the home.js and import home.css and then we go to our page and then refresh and maybe we also need to add the paddings so we go to here and add the div so we remove these background colors now we can see the message box appeared here and we create the on submit handler so we go to the home.js and back to here and we create constant on submit handler is equal to and at here we just type console.log submitted and under the form we add on submit and then we trigger the on submit handler and here we also need to prevent default so it will not refresh the page after we click on the submit button and we also want to add the file so we type input type file so later we can upload the image so now for example we choose a photo it will display the file name and if we type something and press enter and now you can see at the bottom it has submit for example we press enter again we can see it trigger the submit functions in this part we are going to add the set image functions so when the user press on the select image buttons later we will change this test to select image and it will display the picture here and which is ready for upload to the file store so we better change this to a div but at here we want to change this to button first and later we will tell you why we have to change this to div rather than button and then we also change the class name to is equal to button and then at the CSS we change this to dot button and then we add select image now if we refresh the page you can see it changed to select image this is not useful because it cannot trigger the select image for example if you click on the select image it just check uh, the submit functions and actually we want to check uh, the choose file buttons but we do not want to use this choose file button because this is not a beautiful way to do so so we want to hide this first so we go to here and add hidden so now the 
input field already hidden. But how can we trigger these buttons? And now we have to use the use ref. So we type constants file ref is equal to use ref. And then we put the null here. And then we go back to the input field, which has the type is equal to file. And then we type the ref is equal to file ref. So if the button at here, we have to add a function to click on this input field. So we type on click is equal to file ref dot current dot click. So now if you click on the select image, it still trigger the submitted. And I have made some mistakes that we have to add the brickhead and then the arrows and then trigger the file ref dot current dot click. So if we save it and then we click on the select image, now it will trigger the browsers to select the image. But actually you also can see there is a problems is every time you click on the select image, it will trigger the submit functions. So if you connect it to the Firebase, it will already send this message to the Firestore. But actually we don't want to do that. We want to select the image first and then post the message with the image to the Firestore. So to fix these problems, we cannot use button at here. We need to use the div. So we change this to div rather than button because inside the form, the button will trigger the submit functions. So now if you do again, it will now just trigger the browser or the explorer rather than trigger the submit function at the same time. And now what we want to do is to select the image and then display the preview underneath here. But first we want to trigger the length problems. So we go to the home.css and remove the width. So it will follow the width of the input field. And then we go to the home.css or home.js. And now we go to add the on change handler at here to listen to on change event. And at here we will go to add the functions of add image. And also we have to pass the events and we also use the events.pwrench default. And then we create a constant reader is equal to new file reader. And then if there is files, then it will read the data URL. And then we want to fix this first. Well, we are going to check the add image. And then we are going to add the use date to set the image. And then we add here and type reader dot on node is equal to the reader event. And then we set the set image, the reader event dot target dot result. And we are going to add the initial state as node and we have to import the use state. Now under the form or under the button, we all want to add the paragraph to display the image. So we are going to check if there's image. We are going to display the image. And the image source is equal to image. And we want to set the style with the height is just 100 pixels. So now if we select image and go to open a image, and maybe we forgot to add the zeros. So now we try again and select the image and click open. Now you can see the image period exists. And at last we want to clear the image when we click on the image. So go to here and set on click is equal to that image to now. So now when we click on this, the image disappear. And after we already set the image, we want to upload the post message and also the post image to the Firebase. 
So first we have to go to the firebase.js and we have to create another constant called storage is equal to firebase dot storage and then we export the storage now we back to the home.js and then we go to the on submit handler and we set db dot collections post and then we want to add the message and we haven't add the message reference so we go to the input and at here we type ref is equal to message ref so now we are going to create this state on the top create this reference on the top so message ref is equal to use ref now and then we want to get the value from the input box so is message ref dot current dot value and then email is because we already has the user from the firebase so we have to use the constant user loading error and we use the use firebase we have firebase hook use off state and then pass the off here so we get the user dot email we have an import the use of day and also the database so we have to import the db from the firebase and maybe we also change this to db put here rather than export default so now we back to the home and we pass the database here and then we go to the documentations and copy this import and paste to our project now we can get the user from the firebase we do not need this so we delete the error and loading so now if we go to the website and then we try to type something and press enter and then we go to the firebase and go to the project and go to the firestore database and now we can see the email and also the message already posted to the firebase and also we want to add the timestamp so to add the timestamp we use timestamp firebase.firestore and now we have to import the firebase from firebase and then we add dot fill value dot server timestamp so now we go to here and type good day again or uh, put an exclamation mark and press enter now if you go to the file store and refresh now you can see there are timestamp here so later we will use this to order our message and paste to our project and we have to change something because not all of them is useful so first of all we do not have to deal with the snapshot so instead of using the snapshot we turn it to node so we use we paste this with node and then we try to console.load the error and also the upload task we have to change because we use another path so we replace this with post and then dot dot id and then we used put string to get the image data url so we put the file the file this time we used the name image and then we use data url and we can delete all these commands and we forgot to import the storage from the firebase so we import the storage from the firebase file and then we back to here so after we get the download url and then we want to post to or update to the message document which inside the file store so we use db dot collection and then post and then dot dot 
dot id and then dot set and then image download url and then we have the merge is equal to true and then we delete this command we want to set the image now to clear the preview so set image now now we go to the website and type beautiful view and then select image and then we go to select our image and then press enter now we go to our file base and you can see there is image with beautiful world that we just type and also the image that we just post to our file base and in the next part we are going to display the list of cards with the picture and also the message after we already send the message and the pictures to the firestore we are going to use the use collections to get the documents from the firebase so we copy this and back to our project and on top of the home.js we paste this import and then we can take a look on how to use this we copy this and then we paste to here and then the values we take it as post and then we do not have the loading and errors and we do not need the other things so we can remove this and then we go down to the render part and then after the form we create another div and then we type post dot 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 map and then post and then return paragraph and then we set the post dot message and then we set the style is equal to test align center and then the width is equal to 100 percent now if we back to our website and refresh and there is nothing happened and this is because we forgot to change this to post because our collections is not hooks if you look at the firebase our collection name is post so we can use order by and we want to order by timestamp and with the descending order so now if we back to the app again and we see that it should have a unique key so we go down to the bottom and go to the render post and then we paste key is equal to post dot id and we should also use dot data rather than dot message it should dot data dot message and click save and we can see the two posts that stored inside the firebase now in this part instead of just render the test we want to render the card with the image so we go to here and we are going to copy this code and then create a new component called card so we back to the source and go to the components and then we create a new file called card.js and then we type our afce and then we also create a card.css and then we import the css And first we are going to copy the div and then paste to the card and then we convert this to JSX and then we format the document and then we copy the CSS file so we copy all of this and then we paste to the card.css and we will pass the email timestamp and message and also the image to the card 
and we will use the image so this is not hard cooked image so we pass the image to the source and we may change this to message for the alternate test and then at here we pass the message to the header and also we change this to the email and timestamp and then timestamp dot to date dot to local string now we go to the home.js and we are going to pass the card components to here so we type card and then we type key is post.id image is equal to post.data.image and then message is equal to post.data dot message and then we also has the timestamp and also the email and remember we have to import the card from the card and I just automatically do it so you may not see this so now we back to our app and now you can see it already display the image and since it do not has the image it will show the broken image so now we can go to the card.js and we can also type image and n Now you can see if there's no image, it will not show it. And also we want to align the card to the center. So we add margin auto. So now you can see the card already center to the page. And now we can try to upload another image. So we select and we type this is a fish and press enter and now you can see another post already appeared as a card